you. And I'm Ayan. We have a lot to share on today's broadcast. First of all, what the heck does Ungba mean and how do you pronounce it? It's just pronounced Ungba. We okay. don't know what it means yet. Alright, well today we're going to be talking about a cat that makes a, sta a standing long jump that beats most humans. You heard me correctly. That story is on the way. 92 people in the deaths, 92 people of the... 92 of the people in the world have to deal with this. It isn't good and is very likely involves you. You find out in my upcoming entertainment report. weather has been nice lately. Will there be a sudden change? Find out in my weather report. There were some crazy games last night, so find out in my sports report. We'll be back with that and more on the other side of the break. Okay, let's try something different. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. Welcome back from the break. Now it's time for the Tetzloff play-by-play. Congratulations being a redesigned as a school to watch for Mr. Song looks forward to celebrating with the Tetzloff team this year. Girls volleyball players, there will be practice on Monday after school. Please let your parents know about the added practice day. Also, don't forget to turn in your permission forms for the field trip to the women's volleyball game at California State Long Beach. 2017 yearbooks are on sale. Get them for $39 while they last. It won't be much longer that they'll be up going for that price. Purchase online at tetzloffms.com or in room 205. Be ready to have been active and have some fun with your family next week, Wednesday, 6 p.m. at Family Fun Night. This event is available for both students and their parents. Make sure to also wear comfortable clothes and athletic shoes to participate in a wide variety of fun activities. The PE teachers look forward to seeing you there. Let's check out today's calendar. Today is minimum day, college day, and music at lunch. That wraps up this week. That's it for the Tetzloff play-by-play. -play. We'll see you after the break. on running shoes and headgear. They can protect sensitive areas like cameras and sensors, but can make the robots easier to control. Imagine yourself going about your day when something surprisingly happens that is worth millions of dollars. Well, that happened to a father and daughter at a park in the park in Arkansas called the Crater Diamond State Park. Dan Frederick and his daughter Lauren spent less than an hour when they happened to find a two carat diamond laying in front of them which people have gone in the park, the only diamond producing site in the world, and spend days or weeks digging for gems. The diamond is a pearl white triangle and is shaped like a triangle. The Fredericks de decided to name the diamond Fluffy, Fluffy Diamond and have no intentions to steal it, but to keep it instead. 
a cat named Ellie set a new world record by getting the longest standing jump with a whopping 182.88 centimeters, which is six feet, in Chicago, USA. The cat is owned by Samantha Martins, who lives in Austin, Texas. Many are amazed by this long jumping cat. Time to get, time to go check in with Jace. Time to go and check in with Jace with today's entertainment report. Good morning, Jace. Good morning. The new one trailer just came out. This new installment of the Star Wars movies, this is the new installment of the Star Wars movies. Sadly, we don't have the trailer, but that's why you guys have me. The new trailer shows a prisoner being rescued by the Rebel Alliance. Here in the trailer, what seems to be Darth Vader talking to a uh, Death Star Commander, as well as a brand new Death Star, because the last ones did so well. Be sure to check out this movie in December with the, and watch the new trailer while you're at it. So, it's time to check out Jenna, today's weather report. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Jace. It's time for weather. In Down East in Melbourne, Australia, We'll be having 36 degrees and moving more wet, or no? West, yeah. Um, Tokyo, Japan will be having a 57 degree. Moving more west, Cairo and Egypt will be having 71 degree weather. In London, in the UK, we'll have 47 degrees and Anchorage all the way in Alaska over there, <laughs> there'll be 31 degrees. Lastly, in Los Angeles, we'll be starting off with 58. Onto the next map, we'll be having 88 degrees in Rio de Janeiro, which is in Brazil, 72 in Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia, 72 in Tokyo, Japan, or er, yeah, 85 in Cairo, Egypt, 62 in London, UK, 44 in Anchorage, which is again all the way over there in Alaska, and lastly 69 in Los Angeles. MUN at Tetzla Academy in Cerritos. Oh, they take home awards? Let's see, it's a lot of people. I can name a few. There's Connor and Paul and Elijah, Rahul. And, okay. There's Connor Takeshka, Austin on Casper Kentetto. Contento, I can pronounce names sometimes. Area Patterson, Paul Sergisia, okay, and a whole lot more. Okay, so don't forget to direct message us your pictures on Instagram. Direct message them to us at Tetzloff CA. Now it's time for Sports with Jameson. the Chargers beat the Broncos 21 to 13. What an upset. In basketball, the Nets lost to the to the Celtics by 3 and the 76ers lost to the Wizards 79 to 100. The Dodgers pull it off against the Nationals 4 to 3. That was close. And now to the So, how is everybody doing today? Great. Good. <laughs> I'm doing amazing today. I can't wait for the end of this episode. You guys no, got like good yeah. chairs here. Okay, so Alex, who's your guest today? This is Elijah. Elijah. Hello. Alright, so, uh... Ian, you should get started on the next hot topic. Yeah. Most people around the world will never wake up to the fresh air ever again. This is mainly because nearly every place on Earth has been consumed by air pollution and interactive air pollution data map posted on KTLA.com shows that 92% of the people on Earth live in where the air quality falls to meet the WHO World Health Organization standards. This is a major worldwide health issue because pollution can damage lungs, the heart, and the brain. PM, PM measurements, which stands for particular matter, were taken into deadliest cities, PM. 2.5 is the deadliest kind of PM, which includes pollutes like sulfate, inert, black carbon, According to the WHO, most people on the Earth now live in areas where the PM level exceeds PM 2.5. This is exactly like smoking, but worse. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to wear a mask from now on. I know, you know those things that... Like the, the gas mask? Yeah, or the clown mask. Oh, yeah. 
No, don't no, bring, don't bring that up. No, don't bring no, that up. No, no, no. Not today. Okay. okay. Well, let's talk about the new dog medications. You may have heard of medications that make you live longer, but have you heard of a drug that can increase the lifespan of dogs? The drug is called Repamycin and is anti-aging and cancer drug. Repamycin was discovered nearly 50 years ago on Easter Island in South Pacific. According to Paula Anderson, has a dog named Momo who is 13 years old and is able to coat, keep up with dogs that are one third his age and coat. Dogs that have been taken care of by an organization called Dog Aging Project have been on the drug for 10 weeks. <coughs> Momo has been taking the drug for a much longer time and has been running with more energy and a youthful heart. Scientists are hoping that to use Repamycin to increase the lifespan of more animals in the future. There's a drug that can make dogs live longer. Yeah, yeah that's really well, helpful, especially if you're really close to your dog. Yeah. I might give that medication to my dog. Um, please don't tell him. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Alright, so uh, let's get into the next thing. So, okay, so let's see. That's it for news. Yeah. Go to Alex uh, Lepo. Again, this is Elijah Hello. with us. Good morning, Elijah. So. You're an MUN. Yeah, I, I'm a, I am an MUN. I was the delegate of the Philippines, and I award and I won the uh, award of excellence. So bringing it home for the fam. You know? Yay, Philippines! Yay! Anyways, will you will you please read the um, the question for Wapo? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, Clinton or Trump for American president? One fan said. Trump is very straightforward and and does not hold less for less or secrets from America. Whatever he whatever he thinks, he will say it out loud. Another fan said Hillary Clinton because she will because she will be another first. Oh, to. To vote, visit us at online at ungba.com. You can also send, a, send your vote and comment to us on Instagram at ungba. Leave your comment with us at either place and your message just to make it on the air. So Elijah, what do you think? Uh, I think Clinton would be a good president uh, because Donald, he's a, I, I do respect him. I do respect him. Um, but I just think that Hillary is a greater leader because she has more experience. I mean, yeah. Yeah, she was she was the first lady, so everybody kind of got that yeah. experience. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Isn't that a first? Cause uh, yeah. Well, thank you, Elijah. So let's yeah. give the uh, FYI. Yeah. What does HTMI stand for? Hypertext markup language, hyperspace text message link, hardware traffic multi language. Think five. Hypertext Markup Language Hy Hypertext Markup Language was developed in 1990. Let's, let's go to the kickers. A nine-year-old is going to college, but it's not just for a visit or field trip. Will Malias just, is just a kid and is probably one of the youngest people to ever go to college. His father, who is a priest, says that he was able to, quote, they fully develop sentences at seven months old, end quote. The very time his father would say, go to bed, Will, Will would say, I don't want, would say, quote, I don't want to, end quote. Will was able to do addition at one and half of multiplication at two. At the age of five, he was able to count to Chinese according to CNN. The graduated high school, high school this student this year is currently attending a full schedule at the com Community College of Al Allegheny, Pennsylvania. So far, he has straight A's and is excelling in all his classes. Thank, Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next week.